Oh boy. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a lot of random punch list items, like painting this gas line. It was already starting to rust really bad, so stripped it down, put some good clean metal primer. Spring is just around the corner and frost laws came off yesterday, so that means concrete season starts, which is 100 hour weeks and crazy schedule. So this house is going to be even more difficult. We're trying to get as much done as physically possible before it warms up and we can start pouring. Good morning guys. Gotta go do a few errands this morning. Gonna go pick up our fireplace for the house. It finally came in and they were gonna charge us for delivery. I said, hey, I got a trailer. I can come pick it up, save some money. But gotta take the work rig, cause I gotta go to work today too. We poured a job yesterday, the first job of the winter. Or I guess you'd say the last job of the winter, first job of the spring. But it's not quite spring yet. You, you can do the same with you. Let's get a uh, cold start. All right, I gotta get some stuff strapped down, then we'll hit the road. This fireplace was not fastened to the pallet very well. They screwed it down to the pallet, but, oh boy, oh boy. I should have definitely brought a different trailer, but I had to bring this trailer so that I could go to the next job. This next job I'm going to, I definitely can't bring you guys inside. Well, I can tell you what we did. We poured uh, basically a four by 120 foot trench. That part's not a secret. I just can't tell you what the place is. It was a nice small pour. Got the guys, whoa, whoa, whoa. these bumps. Had the guys come in and work for a day, uh, knock off the cobweb from the long winter and get ready for the summer because the summer is going to be crazy with work. Alrighty, back to the ranch. We got the fireplace home safe. Went and did two estimates, cleaned up a job, and now I need to go lay block. We got the fireplace. I'll show it to you guys later. We're gonna get it in the house. Probably take a skid steer and fork it in the back door, I think. I don't know, it's just Chelsea and I, so we gotta get creative on lifting stuff. Okay, just made it to the job. I made it. 80% of the way here and I forgot my mortar. It is half of the equation. You need block and you need mortar. But I had the estimate and I was not going to be late for that. So I came, did the estimate, drove 25 minutes home, 25 minutes back. So now I'm an hour behind. Let's go. So this was the last job we did in the fall. We didn't want to pour this porch cap in the cold weather. So we decided to come back this spring, but the builders changed the location of the roof. Thankfully, the footing was big enough, so I had room to just lay up some fours on the side. That way the post has good bearing and it'll all get covered up with cultured stone. So my mortar joints don't really matter. It just needs to be something solid that that post can come set on. It's still not really bearing that much weight because the roof is cantilevered into the house. So the posts are kind of just decorative, but there's still some weight and over the years it might sag. So I didn't want to just pack it out with cultured stone. I wanted something solid. Already got the block laid. Let's go home and get that fireplace in. Back at the range now. Gonna try to get the fireplace in the house. So going to back the truck up so it's closer for the forks. Gonna use the track machine because the yard is an absolute clay mud pit. Just disaster. Not a chance I can make it through with the tires. And we're going to try to get it through the double doors.
Alrighty, I would not recommend pulling a fireplace like that, but it did work. So I wanted to get this concrete patch here in the plumbing, so I used the zip tape as a vapor barrier so I didn't have to tape down any plastic and just hand mix some concrete. That way the tile has something super solid to sit on. Guys, I've been thinking about it for a while and I'm contemplating starting another channel just for concrete. Uh, I do it every day of the week, so I have way more concrete work than I do housework. So if you guys wouldn't mind, please comment below. Should I start another channel? I easily have enough content around concrete and the trades to start another channel. Or should I put it here on the Rathburn Ranch? You guys let me know. I don't want to bore people on this channel if you're not interested in concrete as much as I am. So I really take your opinion to heart and I would appreciate your input if you would not mind. This is the last step in today's video guys. Sorry it was a little bit random, but honestly building a house can be some days. Punch list items, you just have to go down them and there's a ton of small little things you have to do. So we're trying to get this fireplace installed, that way we can pass mechanical. We're almost done with electric. Pretty soon here we'll be starting insulation. Thank you guys and have a great week.